Hello, I'm the JY Effect, and today I'm going to be telling you how to install SkyTech. This is a Skyblock esque map for TechIt, and it's super, super awesome. So, first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the link in the description. Um, it's a Minecraft forum link to uh, the SkyTech map. Now, um, at the moment, we're currently on SkyTech 2. But there is a Skytech 3 coming, which, by the sounds things, which will be compatible with uh, Feed the Beast mod pack, which is going to be pretty awesome because that is a cool, cool mod pack. Um, so what you want to do is you want to head beneath all the pictures, um, the one with the kind of purpley blue honeydew skin. That's nice. Um, and you want to download the version that you want to play. Now, if you have a look at some of the pictures, there are tons and tons of islands. So this is the kind of thing you can do properly with multiplayer, whereas normal skyblock is kind of a bit too small, you're trying to stand on um, 27 blocks. So, but yeah, you can download a uh, single player or multiplayer. Say if I just click the single player one, if I open in a new tab just to show you, um, it goes straight to Mediafire, so there's no need for uh, AdFly or anything. Just make sure you don't click any of the ads, because being media fire, the ads can harm your computer. So, when you've downloaded it, it's going to look like this on your desktop. Skytech 2.0 SSP.RAR If you download the multiplayer version, you will get multiplayer files, but I don't really do server stuff. So, um, I don't know the most about that, but most of the time you'll be putting it on single player. So, I can minimise that. Now, this is a RAR file, so it is Windows only, um, which is a little bit of a shame. So what you want to do is you want to open it with 7-zip. Now, um, my 7-zip is in Welsh, but that probably means something like extract files. I don't know why it's in Welsh. But then once you've opened it in 7-zip, you can literally just drag it onto your desktop. It'll copy over, and that's fine. Now, my 7-zip being in Welsh is hilarious. Um, See, I don't really know how to use 7-zip because it's always been in Welsh, but I can pretty much gather that copio means copy to the selected folder that you then go and select, but half this stuff I don't know what it means. It's just the symbols I'm going by here. So this file now becomes irrelevant because you're, it's all about this one. So when you double-click this, you'll have another file inside that that you can just drag out again and then making that file redundant. Now this one is where all the really cool stuff is. So now what you need to do with this is you need to type in the start bar. So you need to click on the Windows logo and type in um, percent app data percent. Or if you're the kind of person that visits this folder regularly for Minecraft maps, you can press command, which is the little Windows button on your keyboard, command R. And it should come up with this if you use it regularly. If not, you can type that in, just use it your profile so mine is josh because that's my name and then app data and roaming with backslashes not forward slashes backslashes in between and then just press enter now it'll take you to this now with a normal minecraft map you will go into the dot minecraft folder but this is tech it this is something different so you want to go to the dot technic launcher now in here you will see all the profiles of the mods that you have played on the technic launcher so I've played Techit, and I've played Yogbox, and I've played Technic single player. So what you want to do is you just want to go into Techit, because that's what this is for. You want to go into Saves, and you want to just drop this straight into Saves. Now it's in Saves, what you can do is you can minimise that, and you can open up Techit. Right then, so now you're on the Techit home screen. You want to click Single Player, and success here we go look at that there we go that's the map now um you want to play that world so you can see how awesome the map really is okay right so now now we're in and this is what you'll start with you'll start facing the tree and it'll say welcome to technic 2.0 this is a single player version by uh, Chris Robot 860 chests have been placed around the map to help you. This is the wall. The wall 
is um, is a nice wall of 46 challenges. Um, most of them fairly difficult, especially once you get past about 15, I'd say. Some of them are pretty easy. Make a cobblestone generator, make a bed and furnace, expand the island, blah, blah, blah. Um, build a jukebox, a project table. They're all pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.